Hey guys, Yoshi here. Today, I'm gonna show you 50-50 Amber. I already shown you other video as advanced 50-50 Amber that I modified Matthias Gabriel he used in BJJ bet. This one is more like modified the way Kudoson Matthias he likes to do. Once you understand the ideas, definitely it's gonna be way easier for you to finish Amber. It's not only in 50-50 Amber. Alright, let's just start with understanding the basic structure. Basically, the time I do 50-50 Amber, I like to do on the position like this, uh, both guys are sitting. Either I start from the top, bottom position, top, even double guard. So this situation, I need to start with. In the basic structure, both of us want to control partner's legs between each other. So this time, I want to lock his right leg like this, that he wants to do the same thing as well, either holding my knee or grabbing my pants. Other idea, he may even feel the lapel off to do it, that can be a different story. Before it happens, we just wanna figure out a situation. Okay. Except the time he doesn't make a control, I will not be able to pass my leg to the other side like this. Yeah, this is no longer 50-50 Amber. You can see from the top view, right? We're not in the mirror position. So this one, we're in the mirror, the same situation. That's why both of us, it is a kind of neutral situation. So we like to look for this position first. But of course he doesn't allow me to do that easily. Yes, he locks his legs like. First I want to unlock his frame, his right, right arm frame. So that time I go for it, I just want to simply make the slip grip, then I make spider. If he opens elbow widely, I can easily put my head in like this. But most of the time he wants to close. So this time I want to show you the way to find a space, like make a head in. No under his elbow and forearm, right under his wrist. That's the space he cannot hide. So I put my hook in. After you go like this, it's free to get in like this. Yeah, like I showed you, this one, I step his biceps, then I cut it off like this. Then I can physically keep his right arm away from my leg. Then he can no longer control my leg. So this is the first condition. Then even during the time I do the action, I wanna make sure that I keep on controlling his leg which is very important to do that. Once I stop doing it, there's been a lot of options he can do, attack from this. So, I keep on holding it. Then after I go like this, I pass my leg to the other side. I sit at the 70, 30. Then from now, I wanna take more advantages. So the next thing is Kuya's shin. You guys gonna use his shin to block me like this. I can no longer access his arm or upper body anymore. That's why I wanna clear out like this. Then basic idea, we like to set up the grips, like Keenan showed like a long time ago, pulling it, then set up armbar like this. This is a basic idea. But the time I try this action, I find it really difficult to do, since yeah, I don't have the match long arm and legs, plus most of the time, the time I do jujitsu, I do something, something against bigger than me. That's why I just updated a few ideas. So 7.30 after I set up like this. So from this position, first, I wanna stabilize his arm. That's the first thing, okay? I let go this one, and then I hold his elbow. Yeah, I want to see that how I make the two on one. I still keep the slip grip. That I pull it up to the ceiling, that's the first pressure. Second one, I lock his elbow from outside. This may be pretty similar to the arm bar setup from close girl, or making the shape as same as Americana. This is the first thing I like to start with. In order to make this one, I need to apply two pressures, like I said, pull up the sleeve and hold the elbow like this. Then in this type of 50-50 amber, I need to have the reaction from him. If it's really fresh, soft, it's like a jerry, I cannot do the amber. But definitely in this situation, as I make two one to about to pull, yes, he wants to make his body stiff or tight. He wants to close his elbow. So once that happens, I got leverage, I can make the frame to lock him. So I set up like this. Then probably he gets a little stiff, not to get pulled this arm. If it's really soft, I'll be able to pull it like this, but that wouldn't be realistic, this position. Then once I set up, I start coordinating the angle and the position. That's a target spot in this technique. As you can see that there's a still huge gap between my groin and other shoulder. So which I need to hide it in order to set up armbar. But on the ground level, I cannot make it happen. Because my hips run here, the shoulder, even though I want to access it, he can even move away to escape. 
right? That's why in this type of amber, I want Shanastan to do to make two layers. So the top layer, I stabilize his arm like this. Then bottom layer, I want to slide underneath. As I can make two layers like a sandwich, I can easily go underneath the shoulder. This is an idea. So two on grip is going to be big help as well. I set up, he gets a little stiff. So by the time it happens, I do scoop my hips. Then I want to see, I just want to show you once. So from this, I scoop my hips. Then I pull up his elbow like this. I want to see that I completely get my back under his shoulder. Even though I don't pinch my knees at all, I always set up the armbar. Then from this position, I adjust to set up the armbar like this. Okay, let me break down the part step by step. The first thing, two layers idea. So this, then I pull up like this. Then I don't literally need to pull, come, uh, make him come up completely, but somehow I wanna keep him on the top layer, this. Then next one. I just wanna scoop my hips underneath. Then if you can do the two layers, the idea, it's not even necessary to create a knee like this. This is very like a general idea in the 50-50 armbar. But as I can make the two layers, you can create up by changing the level. So from here, I scoop underneath. By the time I skip underneath, I can automatically get my right leg shallower, like this. Then after I go like this, I pass his leg first, like this. Then I don't want to forget to use my other leg as well. So this situation, probably in order to unlock the frame in amber, what he likes is extend his leg like this. Then it's a bit hard to finish the amber. If I can pull my right leg out, it's possible to do that. But most of the time, it could be difficult to do. That's why I want to make a lock behind his knee before it happens. So this one, I want you to take a look from the top view. So this is the same idea as the bearing borrow, make control. By the time I make it shallower, see my heels are pointing his head side, which means I can use the back of my knee against his back of my knee like this. It needs to be fit completely. This is one of the most important details in order to set up the tight frame. This, knee against knee. As I do so, I have a huge amount of leverage to lock like this. Then it's gonna be pretty hard for him to extend his leg. Even though he tries to do, it's been completely locked. Then I can set up the arm bar. Now I want to see an idea. This is the same as Ben Borrow. This position, you see, as I pinch it, I have a huge amount of leverage. Even this one, the same thing we like to make. Pull, then screw it like this. Then, if I cannot make the perfect angle like this, it's okay. By the time I scoop underneath, at least I can find a space between my leg and his shoulder. That's why I slide my leg in, like this. Then he may even slightly come up, but it's already too late. I just wanna pinch it tight, like this. By the time I pinch, I already set up amber. Then this type of amber, it's not necessary for you guys to pinch your knees together, like the basic idea. As long as you get your groin underneath your shoulder, you already created a task. Henry can no longer pull out his elbow from this position. So can you try to pull out your elbow? It's difficult to do that, right? All you want to do is just like thrust the hips forward. So 50-50 amber, ideally you want to finish up amber, finish the amber on the ground, like I showed you, scoot, go like this. But uh, action reaction, you always need to understand. So since I make two on lock like this, probably by the time I scoop, and yeah, he wants to come up like this. But this is not end of the world. As long as I keep the structure, I can still go for the armbar. This is more like the reverse armbar idea. So here, I start swinging my leg. The orange is pretty simple. I just want to chase him. Then I pass his leg here. Once I set up, it's gonna be easy to finish. Even though he tries to come up forward, I can still chase him. This is the same idea as a reverse armbar like this. Then with following the momentum, I can even roll forward. I pull him up. That could be a natural idea, but it's okay. I start creating a task. As you can see that, my bad hips getting close to his shoulder. So in that case, I just wanna pass his leg here. Then either at this position or he comes up more, especially when he comes up more, or at least chase him like this. I start making a reverse armbar. Then with forward the momentum, I can roll forward. 
is falling on my left shoulder like this. Even though he rolls forward, he cannot unlock it. And then I finish the 50 armbar. I pull him like this. Sometimes I have no time to pass his leg. He's already coming forward like this. So in this case, I can only go for the armbar, but I don't see the angle. He's exposed his back, the same as the arm drag. So in that case, I just want to cut the fast and armpit. Then I come up, take the back, like this. 50-50 armbar is not vast technique, once I understand. It's going to be great help for you to be able to finish armbar during the scramble. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please just hit the like button, give us any comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. I'll you guys catch you in the next one. Bye.